Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. I have a super fun video for you today. I filmed a what I eat in a week. Not only am I showing you everything that I'm eating on the WW program, I'm also taking you along with me for some adventures, some fun, lots of diesel and Lola coming your way. And I just wanted to give you basically a glimpse into my life in a week and as you know we're in a really tough time as a nation right now so we are essentially under quarantine so i'm not leaving a lot but i do have to venture out a few times so i take you guys along with me so if you want to see what i eat in a week to lose weight on ww stay tuned I'm around from my given disaster. speed away from the holy mind Porch sipping on the rocks, citrus in our beverages, citrus in our beverages. Show only the good sides. Always pretty smiles are covering our faces. You know it is all lies. You know it is all lies. On and on and on it goes. Round and round the rodeo. Breathing out air for a minute. Taking my time to begin with. Good morning guys, happy Monday. I am in the car. I have literally still, no lie, have my pajamas on. But I'm headed out to upload my video because as I've mentioned, unfortunately I can't upload from home. It's so incredibly slow. So I just drive up the road to my local McDonald's, sit in the parking lot, and upload my video. So since it's Monday, it's meal prep video today, and then I usually try to just upload for the rest of the week so I'm not committed to go out again because no one wants to go out every day and drive into town to upload. So let's go upload, meal prep, come back, get ready. We have a busy day today. Lots and lots of filming. Bring it down in life, you know. Breathing all that for a minute. Yeah. Hey, would you rather sit right here? Make everything disappear. You play my favorite song. Put your rose colored glasses on. What if we stay right here? Make everything once I finish my coffee, I always get a water going. So what I do is I take, I don't know, one full Meyer lemon and I just break it up, squeeze it, throw it into my mason jar. My goal is five to six of these mason jars a day. So we're gonna get started on number one for the day. So here's my breakfast this morning. I decided to have two of my hard boiled eggs and I just topped them with literally like a teaspoon of the French's honey mustard, zero points. The eggs are zero points as well. And then I have my overnight oats that I meal prepped. You guys, don't these look amazing? I'm so excited for these. And, and my oats are eight smart points. So my breakfast is a total of eight smart points. All right, I'm ready for the day. I wanted to show you guys that water number two. And then I'm gonna take you guys in here with me to my office. I wanna show you kind of what I do for my filming setup. Sorry for the lighting, but water in hand. Show you guys kind of what I do when I film my videos and kind of how I set it up. I get a lot of questions on YouTube in general. So I'll kind of show you guys uh, how I set up my office to film, what that kind of looks like. So let me turn you around. So this is basically what my setup looks like. So I always choose my backdrop which you guys will recognize this. So that's my backdrop. I bring over my chair from my desk and then I have my tripod and my ring light. And then I always have my computer plugged in over here because my ring light actually connects to my computer. So that's kind of what my setup looks like for filming. I actually have three videos to film today. So I'm gonna start filming and I'll be back a little bit later. I'm probably not going to have a snack this morning. It's already like nine o'clock and I already ate, and I just ate breakfast and it was so good, those overnight oats and so filling. So I'm probably not going to have a snack today, but I'll be back the next time that I eat and I'm gonna start filming. I should also point out that I'm still in my pajama pants. I just gotta have my face look good, right? I just gotta have clothes up here 
for my video. So here's my lunch today. I'm having one of my meal preps, of course. This is my quinoa taco bowl. I'll stir it all up and show it to you guys. But basically, it has the quinoa taco mix with beans on the bottom and two of the Siete grain-free tortilla chips in lime. I just went ahead and crumbled those up on top for some crunchiness. So my bowl is six smart points and that includes everything that is shown here. There's also some homemade guacamole over here. So the points come three for the quinoa, one for the tortilla chips, two for the guacamole. And then for dessert, I'm going to have two points or half of an ounce of these Lily Bee grain-free brownie thins and chocolate mint. You guys, I'm literally obsessed with these. I bought these off of Thrive. So definitely sign up for Thrive. You're gonna see a lot of their products in my videos. And right now you actually get free, $20 worth of free product of your choice with a membership. So I'm just gonna go ahead and weigh out half of an ounce of those. So that's gonna be my lunch and it's going to be eight smart points. For a snack today, I'm going to have some Simple Mills Farmhouse Cheddar Crackers. I like these because they're individually bagged, so no overeating. One little bag is four smart points. These have excellent ingredients. I do buy these off of the Thrive Market. I'll make sure that's linked for you guys. Uh, common thread. I use the Thrive Market a lot. So I'm going to have a bag of those for four. And then I'm going to have two points worth of the Horizon Cottage Cheese. I like to dip my crackers in the cottage cheese. So this is the full fat cottage cheese, it's so good. So that's going to be a six smart point snack. So I just finished my snack and came in to check on these two. What you doing? Yeah, there's the window is right there. So they like to sit here and look out the window all day. And this one, this one is all comfy. Hi babe. So yeah currently happening at the Clayton house. Here is my dinner for tonight. I decided not to cook. I had a busy day of filming and editing, so I made another big salad. I'm obsessed with these salads. So the base of my salad is this Trader Joe's. This is the Carniferous Crunch collection. It's really, really delicious. I just wish it was organic, but it's nice to have kind of a slaw base of my salad. I did top it with two points or 28 grams of Trader Joe's organic shredded mozzarella cheese for two smart points. I put one tablespoon of sunflower seeds. You can kind of see those on top of the strawberries there. And then the dressing that I use is this Primal Kitchen honey mustard. You can have two tablespoons for four smart points. And then I have two smart points worth of the cauliflower chicken. And I cooked that in my new little air fryer. I wanted to show this to you guys. This is the Copper Chef air fryer. It's just a very, very small one. I love it. I have the big oven style one. And sometimes like tonight, I just wanna cook a couple of pieces of chicken. So this is ideal for that. $39 on Amazon, I'll link it down below. I think it's cute, I love the color. So that's what I used to cook down my pieces of chicken. So it's two points for the cheese, four points for the dressing makes six, one point for the sunflower seeds makes seven, and two for the chicken makes nine. So this is my nine smart point salad. Everyone's outside. Dad gives them both brushes and he cleans Diesel's ears and Lola thinks that if her brother's ears are being cleaned, then her ears need to be cleaned. Look at her, she just sits there and waits. And then he cleans her ears and she gets so happy. It's seriously so cute. She has to do everything that her brother does. Oh, and there goes Diesel. Because <laughs> his ears were just cleaned. And then there's Lola, waiting her turn. Huh, I love my dysfunctional, wonderful family. So for dessert tonight, I'm gonna have one of my Chalk Zero Milk Chocolate Squares. This is what these look like. I did pick them up off of the Nutrition website. Really, really good. They're two smart points per square. So that's going to be dessert and the last of what I'm eating today. Good morning, happy Tuesday. So I just made my coffee, so here it is. And today I used the chocolate mint superfood creamer. I really like this. And then I always just add a little bit more mint flavoring. And this is just the Frontera Focus, there we go. Frontier, Frontier Co-op Organic Mint Flavoring. I always add a little bit more of that just to give it that extra boost of mint. And then to sweeten it a little more, um, I've been really liking these. I got these on the Thrive Market. These are the Lakanto Monk Fruit Sweetener Classic Packets. And I've never seen those in my store. So 
that's my coffee for today. Oh, and I did add a little bit of creamer. This is it, the Picnic Original Creamer that I picked up recently. Um, I added just like, I don't know, a teaspoon of that just to give it that kind of extra creaminess. So my coffee, one smart point. Good morning, guys. It's Tuesday again. I am about to have some breakfast. I'm doing breakfast on repeat from yesterday. So today is a just be at home day. I am going to be doing a lot of cleaning and laundry. Right now I'm just watching some TV and relaxing. Gonna have my breakfast and then I'll kind of get a little bit more started with my day. But I wanted to hop on, show my face, even though I have no makeup on, and wish you guys all a fabulous morning. So let me flip you around and show you what I'm having for breakfast. So again, breakfast on repeat. So I have my overnight oats that I made in meal prep. These are actually really, really delicious. So these are eight points for the overnight oats. And then I have two hard boiled eggs and I did my typical French's honey mustard. This actually has good ingredients, surprisingly. Just zero points worth of that on top. So my breakfast for the overnight oats and the eggs is going to be eight smart points. To giving you the best mortgage experience. We understand that hardships may arise and we're prepared to help. If you currently work with us and need assistance, have a dog that sheds a lot look at this this is one vacuum literally here's the container and this is one vacuum I just vacuumed my whole house now granted we have a pretty big house but still holy moly so it is 10 5 and I'm hungry I don't know that I'm gonna make it to lunch I literally have been running around like a mad woman like you saw cleaning my house so I'm a little hungry so I'm gonna have a built bar this is in the flavor s'mores now this flavor is not available unless they bring this back so if you're interested in this flavor vote on the built bar website for them to bring it back here's your nutritional information so it does have 15 grams of protein, six fiber, four sugar, and four fat. It's only three smart points. And the s'mores is actually in milk chocolate instead of dark chocolate. I really like this one. It's really, really good. And it's a great three point snack. So that little bit of protein will kind of tide me over to lunch. If you're interested in Built Bar, I do have 10% off and free shipping. I will link that down below for you guys. Now, if you're brand new to Built Bar and you've never ordered before, or if you have a second email to use, there is a code right now for $10 off, which is an amazing deal. It means you can get an entire box of bars for about $16, which is less than a dollar a piece, which is a steal for a protein bar. That link is separate and that will be down below as well. So this is my three smart point snack and I'm on number, I think this is my third or fourth water. So doing good. Can you guys see the rain? Holy moly. It is literally dumping outside. Ugh. Well, good thing I'm quarantined inside, at least for now, and cleaning because certainly don't want to be out in this. Ugh. Things have taken a turn for the worst. The snow has, or the rain has now turned into snow. Lovely. It's officially about 30 minutes later. What the heck? And look, these birds. I don't think they realize spring is clearly not here yet. They're so cute though. Oh, you guys. Sorry, I was on a call. That's why I just filmed my lunch, but I had a repeat from yesterday of my meal prepped taco bowl. This time I added a little bit of leftover corn. So that was six points. And then I'm going to have two points worth of this Patience Fruit and Company Organic Choco Crunch Bites. You guys, these are 
amazing. I'm going to have two points worth of these. That's going to be my dessert. I bought these off of the Thrive Market as well. So it's still crummy out and I'm feeling like I need a little bit of a boost of energy. So I'm going to have one of my Zevia energy drinks. This is in the cola flavor. I have not had this flavor before, but you guys, I love these. I think I showed these in a what I eat in a day. They are zero sugar. They have good ingredients. The only thing I don't love is that they do have natural flavors. They do have 120 milligrams of caffeine, zero calories, zero smart points. There's the ingredient list. Now it's far shorter than most drinks energy drinks. I just don't love the natural flavors. I did buy these off of Amazon and so far I've tried the mango ginger, the raspberry lime, and they were both delicious. So today I'm going to try the cola. So this is going to be my little bit of energy boost this afternoon. Okay. Sorry for how I look, but I thought you guys might want to have me try this on camera. Again, I've never had the cola, so this is going to be a new flavor for me. What I do love about Zevia, and I do buy their soda, their pop all the time, is they don't contain caramel color. So all that's in here, I mean, is good ingredients other than that natural flavor. So I'm nervous about this being cola energy drink, but... Mm delish it actually tastes like you're kind of having diet soda oh my gosh yum favorite favorite flavor for my afternoon snack today i'm going to make a smoothie so i wanted to show you guys what was in my smoothie i'll show it to you before i blend it and then once it's blended but this is actually one of my favorite combinations for smoothies and you only have to count points for the apple juice and the powders that i add so it ends up being a four point smoothie unless you count points for blended fruit then You'll have to figure the points out, but I do not count points for blended fruit. So in my smoothie, I'm going to put in some goji berry powder. That's what this is here. So I'm going to put in half of a serving of that. So it's zero smart points. Just a really good super fruit to add to your smoothie. You can't taste it. It just kind of bulks it up. And as you can see, I bought this on Nut Stops website. My code here on the screen gets you 10% off and they have free shipping. It's not an affiliate link. It's just simply 10% off for you guys. I love the company. So I just want to promote them whenever possible. So goji berry powder from them. And also from them, I have some chia powder. And again, I'm going to put just a tiny bit of this as well. Basically, I like this for smoothies because it's ground up chia seeds. So I'm still getting the benefits of chia seeds without the full seed in my smoothie. So I love chia seed powder. And then I put the smallest amount of coconut water, just enough basically to make my smoothie a little bit thinner to help it blend. I am going to put half a cup of Santa Cruz organic apple juice. This is where you get the three smart points. So I'm going to go ahead and put a half a cup of that. And then I'm going to use this frozen fruit blend, but I'm actually going to just pick out the peaches. I don't know. I'm just feeling peaches today. So I'm going to pick out about a half a cup of peaches from there. I have half of a banana here. So I'm going to throw that in there and a bag of frozen spinach. So I'm going to make a smoothie. So here's what my smoothie looks like. It's so pretty. You can see kind of the goji berry powder and all the fruit. So I'm going to go ahead and throw this on my magic bullet and I'll be back to show you my smoothie. All right, so here's my smoothie. This is what it looks like. You guys, I'm telling you, it's so good. You cannot taste the greens at all, but yet you're getting in like a huge dose of greens. I love it so much. So I count my smoothie as four points. Three points for the apple juice that I used and then one point for the chia goji berry powder. But you guys, it's so good i'm not kidding and it's super super filling so this is for my afternoon snack i'm gonna go ahead and throw a recipe into this what i eat in a week tonight i'm making turkey pesto meatball soup now this is something that i've been really excited to try so i thought it would be a great recipe to throw in and as you guys saw it's snowy and cold here so it's perfect timing so let me show you what's in tonight's dinner first you're going to need some minced garlic You'll need an entire box of chicken broth. I just buy mine at Costco, best price. 93% lean ground turkey, salt and pepper, some pesto. I have the Simply Pesto, Parmesan cheese, basil. The recipe actually calls for fresh, but I went ahead and just used what I had on hand, which was the dry. These are the almond flour simple mill crackers. I bought the big box at Costco. That's what's left. I use these to make my own breadcrumbs. You'll also need some spinach. I, I'm out of fresh, so I just pulled some frozen spinach out of the freezer that I use for smoothies. 
and an egg. So let's make some soup. So the first thing we need to do is make our meatball mixture. We're gonna throw that in the refrigerator. So I went ahead and put my one pound of 93% ground turkey in my bowl. I lightly whisked one egg, so I'm gonna go ahead and add that. I also took 16 of those Simple Mills crackers, put them in this little bag and just kind of crush them up. And that's what I use as breadcrumbs or the binder just because they're nice and clean. And then I have one quarter cup of that Simply pesto my gosh this looks so good i love pesto you guys i love basil so much i think it's my favorite seasoning ever and then i have three tablespoons of parmesan cheese i just measure that out with my tablespoon and then we are going to add in some pepper and some salt and then we're going to just mix this together cover this up with some saran wrap and toss it in the refrigerator while we start cooking down a little bit more of our ingredients. And then that gets this a chance to let those flavors meld before we roll these into meatballs. All right, in my large stock pot, I put quite a bit of the minced garlic. I have my heat turned up to just about high heat. We're gonna let this cook for just a second. It's starting to get a little bit fragrant, which is what we're after. This is the point that you'll add in your basil. So if you had fresh basil, you would add that in at this point. But again, I just have the dry. So I'm gonna give that a quick stir. Now, if you are using fresh basil, make sure that it wilts a bit before you add in your chicken stock. But since I'm using the dried, I'm gonna go ahead and put in four cups or basically this entire container of my chicken stock. And we're gonna let this come to a boil. And in the meantime, we're going to start forming our turkey meatballs. And we're actually going to drop those directly into the broth. So it's going to be really easy. It's all in one pot, which is really, really nice. So while this is coming to a boil, let's make some meatballs. All right, so we're gonna dig in, pull my ring off here, and we're just going to form our meat mixture into meatballs. Now, this recipe only makes four servings, so you can make your meatballs as big or as small as you want. It doesn't really matter. You're just going to weigh out that entire batch of soup and divide it by four. So just try to make your meatballs evenly sized, but again, you can make them as big or small as you want. So I'm gonna make up some meatballs here, and then we'll be ready to add these into that broth when it comes to a boil. Once your broth comes to a boil, it's just about there. Here are our meatballs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop them in one by one in my broth. And then I'm going to immediately remove it from the heat. And we're going to throw our lid on and that is going to allow the meatballs to cook even though it will no longer be on any heat. So let's go ahead and get these meatballs into the broth. All right, once your meatballs are cooked, oh, those look so good. This is where we're gonna go ahead and add in the spinach. Now, the recipe wants escarl, escarly. I don't know how you pronounce it. I don't even honestly know what it is, and I couldn't find it at all in my area. So I just decided to go ahead and substitute with some spinach. I think there's a little greens in there is really all we need. So again, my spinach was frozen, but it doesn't matter. It's going to wilt down just the same. So I'm going to stir that in. I'm going to let that kind of wilt down and then we'll be ready to plate this up and I'll be back to show you my dinner and give you the points. All right, so here is tonight's dinner. So this is one fourth of all of the soup that the recipe made. One fourth is going to be seven smart points on all plans. I did top it with just the tiniest bit of parm and a little bit more pesto. If you use 99% ground turkey, you can lower the points. I will be putting both of the point values on my website. So make sure you check that out for the recipe, but this is going to be tonight's dinner. Here's what I'm gonna have for dessert. I'm just gonna have some Smart Sweets peach rings. This is the new reformulated one that actually has the allulose. These, you guys, are so much better. They're softer. They have more like original peach flavor. They're just really good. And I really like the coating, the sugary coating that's on there. It's much, much better. Smart Sweets is actually coming out with a brand new candy, which I cannot wait for. So definitely stay tuned for that. But this is three points. This will round out my day. That puts me 34 out of 34 Smart Points gets me some dessert. If you're interested in picking up Smart Sweets, Jen Clayton will get you free shipping. I'll put that here on the screen for you. So that's it for Tuesday.
Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs Say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Good morning! It's coffee time! So today, per the huge, I did a scoop of the Vital Proteins Collagen Peptides. Uh, today I used the Superfood Creamer in Vanilla. I really like this one. And I, I also added in some Sweet Drops Vanilla Cream. So it's extra vanilla-y. And then about a teaspoon of my Picnic Original Creamer. I really, really like this one. It's so thick and creamy. So my coffee's one point. So the only thing I have to count points for is the Vanilla Creamer. So happy Wednesday morning. So today's breakfast is a quinoa bowl. I decided to take a break from my overnight oats. I like to do that even though I meal prep, I like to take a break one or two days a week and then finish my meal prep throughout the rest of the week. So today I decided to make this absolutely beautiful quinoa bowl. This will be up on my website so that you guys can get the recipe, but I'm so excited. So at the very bottom here, I have two thirds cup of quinoa. That is four smart points. I topped it with some fresh strawberries and blueberries for zero points. This over here is the Julian Bakery Pro Granola in Espresso Cluster. This is actually my favorite flavor of the granola. You guys, this granola is clean. Clean as clean can be. Here is your nutritional information. It is two smart points for a half of a cup, which is incredible. But I only have a quarter of a cup here for one smart point. Let me flip this around and show you guys the ingredients. So again, the ingredients are really, really good, nice and clean, probably the cleanest granola that you're going to be able to find. I know the Purely Elizabeth is really good as well, but it's about double the smart points. So for the smart points, Julian Bakery is great. I do have 10% off and they do offer free shipping. So I'll put that here on the screen and the link is down in the description box. So I have a quarter cup of that, highly recommend. All the flavors are delicious. This is just the one I have on hand currently. I topped it with just literally a sprinkle of these unsweetened toasted coconut flakes. You can see those here. They're nice and toasty. So that's zero point. Points. Then I have one point worth of the Navitas cacao nibs. I really like these. They add that little bit of chocolate goodness to the bowl and that is one smart point. And then last but not least, I have a quarter of a cup of my grass-fed Maple Hill organic yogurt and I just put that there and I sprinkled it with some cinnamon and literally you guys, I mixed this whole bowl together and it's absolutely delicious. So it is four points for the quinoa. One point for the granola, one point for the cacao nibs, and two points for the yogurt. So this is an eight smart point breakfast. And you guys, this is so filling. I'm not even kidding. I figured if I got hungry between breakfast and lunch, I would have a hard boiled egg. If I do, I will definitely let you guys know, but I'm gonna make up some lemon water and enjoy today's breakfast. Hi guys, I am about to go do my workout. Aren't I cute? No makeup on, my hair is like in a ponytail. But I'm gonna go do a jazzercise on demand. I'll show you guys kind of what it looks like and pick the jazzercise workout that I wanna do today. They're between like 40 and 45 minutes, so I think that's actually gonna be perfect for today. Get a good workout in. And then I have a Zoom call with my real estate office at 8.30, so it's currently right about 7.30. So it'll give me plenty of time to do my workout and be ready for my call. So let's pick today's on-demand jazzercise workout. All right guys, it's jazzercise on-demand time. Let's look at dance and cardio. So I want a 40 minute one, just because I need that extra little boost of working out. Let's see, I'm gonna do, let's go with this dance mix. 42.50. So I'm going to go ahead and go that one. It's about a 43 minute workout. So I'm going to go work out. 
My Zoom meeting is currently happening, but I'm hungry, so I'm having a snack. Since I just did my workout, I'm a little hungry. I am having my two hard-boiled eggs with a little bit of the French's honey mustard on top. So that's zero smart points. I didn't use enough of the honey mustard to count as points. And I decided to go ahead and make myself just a cup of the bones, uh, white chocolate peppermint leftover from Christmas coffee. I do have $5 off for bones. I'll leave that down below. So, snack. You can just keep Zoom meeting. All right, guys, workout's done. Look at this hot, sweaty mess in my garage. I decided to go in my garage because it's a little bit bigger. I can move around a little bit easier. So I am going to get ready and get on my work call. So next time you see me, I'll be all ready for the day. And I'm back and I'm ready to go. Just a really casual look today. Just wearing a little sweatshirt over my workout top. I'm literally running just a couple of errands. I'm gonna run to a local health food store to see if I can find my favorite good culture cottage cheese and sour cream. I'm also really wanting some kombucha. So I'm gonna pick that up and then I have to run by the post office to mail out my bills and then I'm going home. So very minimal contact out today. Tomorrow, Thursday is my big grocery shopping day. So I just try to today have as little contact as possible. I was gonna show you guys my lovely husband. Give me gloves in case I wanted to have gloves when I'm out and about today. So I'm going to go ahead and run to my local health food store post office and then I'm headed home. So I just got back from the store. You guys, I'm so relieved that my store that is only really why, why my store that is only 15 minutes from my house carries good culture. I was thinking I was gonna have to go to another health food store in my area that actually is a one hour drive each way from my house. So I am so excited that I can get my good culture fix at my local store. What do you want? What do you want? No, squirrel, we're not playing right now. Hi everyone. Hi. Anyway, back to our regular schedule program. So I picked up a few things. I grabbed another bottle of my Santa Cruz organic apple juice. I love this for my smoothies, which you guys have seen in this video. They had a pretty good price, so I just picked it up. It does not have to be refrigerated until open, so I'm gonna throw it in my pantry. And I mentioned wanting kombucha, so I grabbed that. I drank some of it. I don't count kombucha, to be honest. I normally don't drink most the whole bottle anyways, and it's literally 50 calories, I think, for the entire bottle. Yeah. So I don't count it. It's nutritional benefits and gut benefits. If you want to count it, you can definitely do that, but I just choose not to. And then my husband ate all of my gluten-free waffles that I got last time. Seriously, I was like, what the heck? So I picked these up. I'm literally writing my name on these with a Sharpie. And then I decided to grab these. They just sounded really good. These are the Sunridge Farms Organic oatmeal raisin chews. So these look really good. They you can have nine pieces for 140 calories. Points will be on the screen, but they have really good ingredients. Everything's organic. They even use um, expeller pressed oil. So I grabbed those, they were on sale and I thought they would be nice just to have even just in my car for those emergency situations. And they're pretty good size squares. Like one would probably be enough for a little snack. So I grabbed that stocked up on my good culture so i grabbed one of the good culture whole milk cottage cheese this is the four percent milk fat but then they had this one this is organic which is even better and six percent milk fat so a little bit higher in fat but this is the double cream classic so i think this one is one point more than this one i don't care i'd rather have this because it has more fat and is organic so i grabbed that and then we are obsessed with this sour cream this whole milk sour cream Oh my gosh, it is worth every point. It is so delicious. So I grabbed that. And then I usually buy the Enjoy Life mini chocolate chips and I've never seen these. These are the Enjoy Life Mega Chunks Semi-Sweet. Now these are about three points for a tablespoon, but these you guys have such good ingredients. Look at the list, that's it. It's literally cane sugar, unsweetened chocolate and cocoa butter. I love these. They're free from all of these ingredients, which is amazing. All the allergy ingredients, they're free of those. So I like to have these on hand. I thought these big chunks would be really good in oatmeal or smoothie bowls. So I grabbed that. And then they had my favorite brand of seasonings, which I can never find other than online. And they had every one. So I'm so excited. This is the Frontier Co-op Organic brand. They make the best extracts 
and seasoning. So I grabbed the organic parsley because I was literally almost out of parsley. And then I also grabbed poultry seasoning because there have been so many times that I needed poultry seasoning and didn't have it. And I will tell you guys with these seasonings, always buying your seasonings organic is much better because these crops are heavily sprayed with pesticides. So the fact that these cost less than non-organic, I'm in. So I picked those up. I will be replacing all of my spices that this brand carries with this brand when they run out. This and Dax is really what I want to use moving forward. So that's my little grocery haul. Now back to you. You want to play? You want to play? Oh, get it. You want to get it? Squirt, you want it? Look. All right, here's my lunch for today. It's a little after 11 and I'm hungry. So I have two slices of the Trader Joe's sourdough bread. I have two slices or one serving of the Applegate Naturals oven roasted turkey. This is actually zero points. So I have two points or two points, two slices, which is a serving. So I do try to stick to the serving size of zero point foods. I have one slice of the Sargento ultra thin Colby Jack cheese. I have 65 grams of avocado. I weighed that out on my food scale, topped it with the Trader Joe's, everything but the bagel. And then I have one serving or 28 grams of these from the ground up butternut squash pretzels. You guys, these are delicious. So I have that for three points. So it is four points for the bread of my sandwich, two points for the avocado, one for the cheese and three for the pretzels. So this is a 10 smart point lunch so here's my snack this afternoon it is a little before three and i'm a little bit hungry so i sliced up some organic mini persian cucumbers and i have three smart points worth of the hope kale and pesto hummus it's my favorite so this is going to be two smart points so here's my dinner for tonight i made a casserole called chicken divin and it has chicken and cheese and broccoli and bacon and quinoa and a really good sauce so it is one serving which is six servings total in the recipe and it is six smart points so my dinner tonight is six smart points here's dessert for tonight i'm gonna have six points worth or six points five points worth of these dark chocolate nuggets these things are so good you guys they're from costco i love them they're organic they have great ingredients so I'm gonna weigh out on my scale five points, which isn't quite a serving. I think a whole serving is seven, but I'm gonna do five points worth. That's gonna be dessert, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, friends. Happy Thursday. I'm already in the car, coffee in hand. So here's my coffee today. I kind of did the same thing as I've been doing. I did, actually today I did the layered cacao coffee creamer with peppermint sweet drops. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Mm. And the picnic creamer. So this is one smart point. I'm in the car because I'm actually at the office. I have floor time this morning. And even though our office is closed to like a lot of the workers, we, those of us that have floor time are still able to come in to the office because generally I'm the only one here during floor time. So no big deal if I'm in the office. So I have floor time today from 8 a.m. to 11. And then it is grocery shopping day. So I've got my gloves and my list. And I'm going to be going to Trader Joe's and Fred admire to do my grocery shopping so I'm quite busy today and then I'll be heading home from there so I just wanted to hop on and say good morning I did pack all of my food for today I did breakfast lunch and snacks because I don't know how long I'm going to be gone today and I am somebody who really likes to plan ahead and make sure that I bring my food with me so that there's no question on whether or not I'm going to stay on track so I'll show you kind of what I eat throughout the day basically I brought my meal prep kind of some of the th same things that I've been eating earlier in the week. But yeah, it's Thursday. It's been a good week. So I'm going to go ahead, head into the office, do some work, and hope that maybe I get a call or two of someone looking for some property. <laughs> Front porch, sipping on the rocks, citrus in our beverages, citrus in our beverages. Show only the good sides, always pretty smiles are covering our faces. All right, for breakfast, I'm having my overnight oats that I made in meal prep. So again, these are seven smart points. And then I have, I think seven, they might be eight. 
I'll put it on the screen. And then I have a hard boiled egg. I just packed that with me as well. So this is my breakfast for this morning. I'm working away, looking up recipes and things, my setup. I just took over this space. So working away, still working on my coffee. So let's have some breakfast. All right guys, it's lunch on repeat as well. So I did not have a morning snack. So for lunch today, I'm gonna do my taco quinoa bowl from meal prep. This is actually my last one which works out great so i'll have something different for lunch tomorrow friday and then i went ahead and just whipped up really quick the guacamole yes i brought an avocado with me so this is going to be my lunch today and this is six smart points total i may pick up something when i'm out and about maybe as like a sweet treat but so far lunch is six points Hey guys, I am at Trader Joe's. I just left the office. It's a little after 11. You guys saw my lunch. I went ahead and had kind of an early lunch because I warmed it up before I left the office, knowing that I wouldn't have a way to warm it up once I left. So I'm going to head into Trader Joe's, grab some groceries here, head down to Fred Meyer. I also need to make a quick pit stop at my bank and deposit a check that I've had forever that I need to get in the bank. So I'm going to head into Trader Joe's and then we're going to move on to Fred Meyer's. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Let me figure out where the road goes So this is the 90 10 clean eating comes into play i actually picked these up at the grocery store i love york peppermint patty i'm gonna have three points worth of these as my dessert slash afternoon snack ish we are taking our dog to the vet today so i don't know if i'll have another snack so there you go who wants to go who wants to go on a car ride oh oh yeah everyone Bubba, we're taking you to the vet. Can you sit for dad? No. Oh, sweet. You get, you get to go. You get to go. Everyone's going to go. Sit down, buddy. Good boy, bud. Good boy. You want to go? Here, buddy. Come in. Come in, Mom. Bully, you want to go? You going to come too? Are you getting your nails cut? <gasps> yes, you are. We're home. We're home from the vet. We're home from the vet. Ugh. Yeah, you guys are, we're home. Everyone's home. For dinner tonight, I'm having my leftover turkey meatball pesto soup. It's so good. So this is seven points for the leftovers. And then I'm going to have something for dessert. I'm not sure yet, but this is going to be tonight's dinner for seven points. Here's what I'm going to have for dessert. These are the dark chocolate with main blueberries. I picked these up at Costco and I did favorite these in my favorites video. And I'll put the link for Amazon there as well, but I'm going to have two of these for four smart points and that's going to be everything for today. So I'll see you guys tomorrow, Friday. I just filmed my weigh-in video since it's Friday and did the virtual workshop. As you saw, it went really, really well. Um, I am, let me show you. So I've got my water. I am going to go to the store to pick up some fish oil for Diesel and Lola. They recommended that for their skin and for allergies. So I wanted to show you guys actually what I'm having for breakfast because being on the go, I usually bring breakfast with me on Friday because I'm usually somewhere uploading and editing my videos. So for breakfast this for today, actually I'll just show you. 
I have one of my healthy eating all the time and go bars. You guys know that I love, love, love these. Oh, and it's upside down. There you go. Healthy eating all the time and go. This is the natural peanut butter with chocolate. Look at that. Yum. So I do have a code for these as well. It's not an affiliate link. It's just a code for you guys to get 12% off of your order. These are amazing. They range from six to seven smart points, but they're literally a meal and the ingredients are amazing. There is nothing bad in the ingredient label of these bars. So I'm going to have this for breakfast. I, the, I counted as six points and then I had my coffee for one. So, so far I'm at seven points. From here, I'm going to get my video edited and uploaded. And then I've got to run to both Walmart and Fred Meyer to pick up a few things for the dogs and a few things for the house for the weekend. We are going to do a little bit of work around our house since we're stuck at home this weekend. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up a few things for that. And then I'll be back to show you guys when I have a snack or lunch, whatever comes first. So I'm still out running errands. So I'm going to go ahead and have a built bar. This is the cinnamon. It's no longer available. I'm still working through my large built bar stash, but there are several flavors that are available and I actually have 10% off. Like I mentioned earlier in the video for built bar. So I'll put that code here on the screen again for you guys. I really love built bar. It keeps me nice and full. We've got some protein, fat and fiber. So it satisfies me. And this is the perfect running around running errands snack. So I'm going to have this for three smart points and then I'll be back to show you my lunch here in a little bit. Hey guys, I just left Fred Meyer picked up fish oil. We did get a call from the vet that diesel is on the verge of having an underactive thyroid. So I had to stop and spend 35 more dollars. So now we're over 700 and pick him up some thyroid medicine, which is completely fine. And then little miss Lola Lou's skin is super dry. So they suggested picking up fish oil, $25 for fish oil. Seriously. And while I was at Fred Meyer getting the $25 bottle of fish oil, I got some kombucha. I don't count kombucha. I've mentioned this, I think, before in this video. Um, I don't usually drink all of it, and it's literally 50 calories for the entire bottle, but it makes me happy. So I grabbed some of my favorite GT's gingerberry kombucha. I'm uploading a video at the local McDonald's, and then I'm headed home. So for lunch today, I'm gonna have this Amy's black bean and veggie burrito. This is only six points, and this has such fantastic ingredients. And I just threw that here in my little Copper Chef air fryer. I talked about this earlier in this video. I will link it down below for you guys. I love it. It's literally the perfect size just to cook something small. So I'm gonna get the burrito cooking, figure out what else I'm gonna have for lunch. And I'll be back to show you my lunch and give you the points. There's lunch for today. So here is that Amy's burrito. Oh, look how good that looks. These are really, really delicious. So that is going to be six smart points. And then I have one half of a cup of the Whole Milk Good Culture Classic Cottage Cheese. So that is three points. And I just topped it with some of these organic blueberries for zero. And then for dessert, I'm having one of my Trader Joe's Organic Milk Chocolate Caramel Eggs. Love that they're individually wrapped. It really helps with portion control. So it's six for the burrito, three for the cottage cheese, and two for the chocolate makes 11 points total. Well, hi, bud. Someone's out on his dog bed. Can you guys see he has his bandage on his paw? He has to keep that on there for five days. It's my handsome boy. He's so happy out there. Hi, baby. What are you doing? Huh? Do you want mommy to come sit with you? Do we come sit with you for a minute? Okay, let's do it. Hi guys, so I am getting ready to head out on a walk. I decided since the weather is decent, it's not too terrible. I'm literally wearing a tank top here and then I have my little jacket over the top. I'm gonna go enjoy the decent weather and head out on a walk. So I'm gonna show you my Fitbit before and show you my Fitbit after. All right, so here's my Fitbit before. 3,300 steps so far today. All right, I'm back, 6505. 27 active minutes, 15 flights of stairs. I'm back from my walk. We're gonna make a smoothie. Right, Lola? Yep, we're gonna make a smoothie. So in my smoothie, I'm going to put some of this organic wild protein smoothie mix from Essential Living. I really like this stuff. My husband wants a smoothie too. So I'm gonna actually double what I would normally make, but I'll show you mine and give you the points for it. This actually, I think is two points for four teaspoons, um, which is probably what I'll put in the smoothie. And then I'm gonna do a mix of some coconut water and some oat milk. My husband has decided he doesn't like the banana in this smoothie so I'm gonna omit that 
and I'm just gonna use this mixed fruit medley that I picked up. Strawberries, peaches, pineapple, and mango. So we're gonna do that. I am going to add another scoop of my Nut Stop Goji Berry Powder and ground chia seeds just for the nutritional benefits. And don't forget about my code for Nut Stop. Not an affiliate link, you just get 10% off your order and free shipping and the code here on the screen will get that for you. And it's also down in the description box. So I'm gonna blend this up and I'll be back to show you my smoothie. Oh, I'm probably gonna throw in some spinach too. All right, so here's my smoothie. I did add a half a banana. Shh, don't tell, I don't think he'll notice. There's my chia powder, goji powder, the actual smoothie powder. We've got some oat milk, water, spinach. So this entire smoothie, since I do not count the blended fruit, is three points. Two points for the oat milk, because I used half of a cup. And then one point for this smoothie mix. These are zero points because of the amount that I used and I'm actually dividing this by two. All right, so here's my smoothie. Okay, I admit it isn't the prettiest, but you guys, it tastes really good. It's entirely full of nutrients. I mean, really, really good. You're getting a couple doses of greens, some fruit, some milk, super good. I'm excited for this. So I count this smoothie as three smart points and that is to cover, again, the oat milk and the smoothie powder. So this is my afternoon snack for three points. So here is my dinner for tonight. I have one of my turkey burger patties. It is four smart points for the turkey burger. And then I have four smart points worth of potatoes. These are just organic red potatoes. I chopped them up, roasted them in the oven. I also sauteed a little bit of mushrooms. I am going to count one point for the oil that I used over the potatoes and the mushrooms. And then I also topped it with one point worth of this French's honey mustard with real honey. I love this stuff, it's so good. So that makes the burger four, the potatoes four makes eight, the oil makes nine, and the mustard makes 10. So this is my 10 smart point dinner. Thank you so much for coming along with me on this super fun what I eat in a week. I've been wanting to do one of these for so long, but the time just hasn't permitted. And now that I'm stuck at home, or not stuck at home, however you wanna look at it, I was able to get this video filmed for you guys. I hope you enjoyed seeing all the food that I ate throughout the week, a few recipes here and there, Diesel and Lola, and we went on a few adventures, as many as we could outside of the home this week. Thank you guys so incredibly much for watching. If you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome. Make sure you stick around, hit that little subscribe button, and if you hit the bell, you'll just be notified whenever a new video is uploaded. Thumbs up this video if you loved this What I Eat in a week and make sure you check out the description box below for the link to my website which will feature all of the recipes that I shared with you guys throughout this week as well as all of the links to my favorite things all my discount codes and the link to head over and join my Facebook group with almost 15,000 members we're here to support you and be your best friend during this trying time so make sure you head over and join us there thank you guys so much for spending some time with me and I hope you enjoyed seeing my life and what I eat for a week, and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye guys!